गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स लेट्स लर्न अबाउट ऑटोमेटिक डिक्शनरी मेकिंग सो वेन वी हेयर अबाउट डिक्शनरी वी थिंक ऑफ वर्ड एंड इट्स मीनिंग बट टेक्निकली इफ वी थिंक अबाउट डिक्शनरी इट इज सम पॉइंटर एंड इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू इट सो इन दिस केस we made a dictionary which gives which has a data of employee id name of employee and days he is present in the company so such type of application can be easily done on excel like there are many entries there are on 16462 entries with employee id name and days present so for easy access of data if i input the num- name of employee it gives me if i input the number it gives me name and number of days he is present so employee 1010 number is this his name is chandu and he is abs- present for 573 days which is same as here so if we input any number it gives name and number of days is present so this system can also be elongated for many number of ids with name and present days so now let's learn how to make this system so for this we will learn basic theory so so let's first learn basic theory so we are making this automatic customized dictionary in excel so in this we have used a function named lookup so basic terminologies in lookup function is first the reference value that is by which value we are considering similar uh, respective values in database for example here our reference value will be this then second is database third is values to be printed that is column number and fourth it is exact or approximate so this formula looks like equal to v lookup reference cell comma database comma name of column that we will see in practical comma true or false so a uh, hack to be remembered is we should use dollar sign before database selection for example if i have to select a cell a13 i'll use dollar a dollar 13 this will lock the data selection it is specific of dragging cell so the meaning of this can be explained here so here if we delete this now we will put v look up value so going here in put v look up so okay so now look up value will be this because with respect to this it will check in database so lookup value is this lookup array will be this whole array so it will check for values in this array and as we told we will use a dollar sign so that if we drag the columns for uh, many number of names it will not change the database array so now column index that is which value from the database we have to print so so here we took the values from here this is reference column so 1 2 column index will be 2 and lookup range will be false because we need exact value 
okay so we got your name now similarly here we'll input the parameters so it will be equal to look up bracket and in look up we'll input reference comma the database from where it will choose okay and now column width will be 3 So these values, comma, the column number will be 1, 2, 3. So 3, comma, false, enter. So F10 database, false. From B2 to D, from B2 to D 463 and column width is 3 we are getting it as false so let's see what's the problem F10 database 3 if we put here 2 Again, we will input the values like here we'll put function, we look up, okay, look up value is this, look up value is this, okay. column index is 3 and lookup range is false okay we get the value here now here as i told a note we should add dollars here because now we will understand its importance so if i drag this i drag this and i drag this this can be made for n number like if i input different number here C. C. So every time we get a different name and number of days. So this formula need to be written once and drag down. So this dollar will ensure that the whole database is taken so this was all about the reference so so do subscribe the channel share it and comment for feedback or any advanced function explanation Thank you and do check my other videos if you like this video.